Alright, this is Artifacts of Mars. Uh, about the Ebola thing, I was wondering if you liberals get it yet. I've been fighting with liberals on uh, chat groups about Ebola. And there's the usual liberal elitism. They don't think that this virus is any threat to them. Or any threat to any of the rest of us. But it's mostly they don't think it's a threat to them. And why? Because liberals are arrogant, and they are elitist by nature. Especially the white liberals. Now, look what's happened. First they brought in that African patient came in, he died of Ebola. And then Nina Pham came down with it. She's kind of like of Asian descent. At least that's what it appears to me. And liberals still weren't impressed. Though. So I guess Asians don't count either. Then the uh, third one whose name I have a hard time remembering all the time. Third uh, second nurse catches Ebola. She's black. So, again, white liberal, liberal elitists uh, think eh, we're safe. It's a black person. Now, we have a white doctor in New York who brought it in. And let's not forget that white journalist from NBC. So, do you liberals get it yet? Your uh, white liberal elitism isn't going to help you. It's not going to protect you from this disease. I don't know how else... I mean, this stuff has to be explained to liberals because they don't get it. It doesn't care what your skin color is. It doesn't care what your politics are. And I'll tell you another thing. You don't have to be a genius to understand that it would be much easier for you all to spread it in this country than it is over there. I've mentioned the different sub, uh, some of the different ways it can spread, and we have all these subcultures in this country. I'm going to mention briefly goth subculture is more of a tattoo and self-mutilation subculture so you know people will be cutting themselves and maybe sharing the knife sick vampire subculture yeah people do drink blood they're not va they're not uh, supernatural or anything they're ordinary people but they have this bizarre fetish you know, who knows if one of those nurses was a, was a uh, blood doll for vampire subculture. We're not talking about movie-style vampires. They don't turn into bats. Let's get that clear. You got it? But, my, from all appearances, it looks to me like liberal elitists, especially the white liberal elitists, think that they're immune to this because... They're special, and that disease would not dare infect them. Wrong. I don't know if that doctor who brought it in, whether he's a liberal or not. But he's definitely white. Your skin color won't protect you, you libs. And your, uh, liberal elitism won't protect you. Get that through your heads, you liberals. If this gets loose, it's going to give you a real hard place set down. I so saw you were sitting there smirking and laughing, just thinking your bowl's a big joke. It's going to wipe that smirk right off your face when you're lying there in a goddamn hospital, bleeding from every goddamn possible orifice.
Yeah, yeah, you libs. You're something else. Wake the hell up, people. I don't know if it's going to spread. I have no idea. But I knew, do know we're in trouble. If it does. Because it's going to spread very fast here in the United States. If it gets loose in the general population, it looks like it has. Right? Like some uh, people have reported, it may not be reported as Ebola. We're screwed. We're screwed, people. No matter of fact, it's Mars. 